and welcome to the Saturday edition of The Box Seat. I'm Mark Warwood. Eight races at Belmont Park on Saturday. Let's have a look at the likely conditions. We're expecting a showery day, maybe even a late storm in Perth. The track to be a soft six. It's holding up really well in the wet conditions and the rail to be in the six metre position. Race number one at Belmont on Saturday will jump at 19 minutes past 12. It's the Magic Millions plate over a thousand metres for the two-year-olds. The replay race is going to have a look at Market Ruler winning at Belmont Park on the 26th of May. They're being followed by Regal Council, called upon for its effort. It's on the outside of Carolina Reaper, but he's down hands and heels at the 200 mark on the favour. Market Ruler booted away from them now. Put up about three lengths. Essential Spice running around pretty green as she was in one of those trials. She won't get anywhere near Market Ruler, who's one untouched for Pike, an early double. Very good performance by Market Ruler in the replay race. She looks very well placed here to make it three wins on the spin and she certainly could lead all the way from the inside gate under William Pike who elects to stick with her. She led all the way in the replay race and she meets some of those opponents again on Saturday. She clearly is the top pick here. From number five, Essential Spice, she was behind Market Ruler in the replay race, was wayward in that race, just as she had been in the first of the true trials. She certainly got some ability though, she goes in for second. Number seven is the debutant Baron Bostock has had two from two from trial, certainly respect from the Daniel Morton Yard and stable jockey CJP takes the ride. And number six, Regal Council was behind Market Ruler and Essential Spice in the replay race. Had more experience in Essential Spice as well, so don't expect him to turn the tables on her. Well, on top selection in race number one, gonna go with number two, Market Ruler, to beat five Essential Spice, seven Baron Bostock, and six Regal Council. Race number two at Belmont on Saturday will jump at 12.59. It's the Tap Touch Handicap over 1,000 metres. The replay race going to look at Undisclosed winning impressively at Pinjarra Park. This chestnut lies in disguise just in front of it. They're being followed by Queen Tory. Nashville Cat back in a bit of traffic. Flower of Scotland here follows Undisclosed who's still nicely clear at the 250. It's Undisclosed. He's sitting there as quiet as a church mouse. 150 to go. It's over four in front from Flower of Scotland. Lies in disguise but the last is all over. Bar the shouting. If you're on board well then you better get to the tote and collect. It has won in a canter. They say that barriers win races, but I think gear changes are every bit as important. Undisclosed had the blinkers on in the replay race. She improved significantly to win that. And she's now four from eight with the shades on. She retains them on Saturday. She's been pretty unlucky in most of her runs this campaign, but that gear change and the data is really hard to ignore. She maps really well as well from barrier one. I think she's the one to beat in race number two. Number one, Ambient resumes without a trial. You can forgive the last run in the form book found to be lame when finishing eighth behind Settlers Creek. Won two out of three last preparation and he's two from two first up. So Ambient is probably the main danger. Still got a bit of time for number six, Hard of Heart. Still believe in this bloke, but I think he probably wants a little bit further than a thousand metres. And then for fourth, number eight, Regal Moon. Certainly not one of the best in the Cerise and White of Peter's investments and also a little bit of a non-winner. Well, on top selection in race number two, gonna go with number five, Undisclosed, to beat one, Ambient, six, Heart of Heart, and eight, Regal Moon. Race number three at Belmont on Saturday will jump at 1.39. It is the Marina East Waterfront Apartments by Blackburn Handicap, over 2,000 metres. The replay horse, look at the top one, Galaxy Star, winning at Belmont on the 26th of May. Red publisher though, got a run on his inside soon after straightening it. War God, here's Senzo pushing shapes and Pike starting to bring Galaxy Star right down the middle of the track. Red publisher pushing shapes, Senzo, Galaxy Star at the 100. Galaxy Star now let's go. She put pay to them in about two strides, Galaxy Star. She pulls away from pushing shapes. Galaxy Star steps up to 2,000 metres for the first time as she seeks to complete a hat trick of recent wins and improve her record to eight firsts and two seconds from 10 starts. I don't think she'll have it all of her own way. The markets haven't come up before we do the videos for the box seat, but uh, I think the bookmakers may well overestimate her chance. I don't think she'll be a betting proposition, but she's hard to go against and she goes on top. The clear danger for mine is number four, Missile Launch, and uh, looks like a nailed on Cornella in race number three, one and four. 
Knox on uh, missile launch, first look at Belmont, has no wet form in the book thus far, and he also has a wide gate here, barrier 10 in a field of 10. So only has to go in for second, but I suspect there'll be too big a gap in the betting to make Galaxy Star a betting proposition. Number five at the ready, and number six, Master Magician, round out the top four for mine. There's not too much to choose between them, just leaning towards at the ready because uh, Master the Magician finally gets the full set of bar plates, having had just some of them on previously. My own top selection in race number three, gonna go with number one, Galaxy Star, to beat four, Missile Launch, five at the ready, and six, Master Magician. Race number four at Belmont on Saturday, will jump at 2.19. It's the Amelia Park Lamb handicap over the metric mile of 1,600 meters. The replay horse can look at Friar S first up run behind Galaxy Star. Around the back of Grey Enigma, and now he's off the back here of Gunner Go into the clear. Greco had hit the front at the 250 though from Warjourn, Red Publisher. Here comes Galaxy Star, sprouting wings, 150 left to go. Galaxy Star stormed up, grabs the lead all over Bar the shouting. You've just seen a brilliant ride on a favour. Comes away Galaxy Star from Gunner. Very good performance by Friar S first up from what was an impossible gate, and that's the key for my on Saturday, finally draws an alley, should be able to settle somewhere decent in running. And uh, that first up form was off the back of a decent trial behind Great Shot, who ran really well in the feature race seven days ago. Expecting improvement second up from Friar Esk, and he's yet to miss the placings on a soft track. It's one of the value bets on the card. The dangers, maybe number seven, Broker. Uh, I don't think he stayed the 1800 metres all that well last start. So uh, back to 1600 metres is certainly a positive. Run a decent figure over the nine furlongs, it has to be said. My knocker on Broker is he's had a very long campaign. He may well be looking for the paddock, but if he's not, he's a big danger in this race. Number nine, Keeper Son reunites with Lucy Warwick. He's had consistently good ratings over each of his last three appearances. He has to be considered here. And number two, Pushing Shapes, beats all bar Galaxy Star last start out. That was despite racing keenly. The concerns for mine, his soft numbers and his track numbers, but it wouldn't surprise me if he won this fourth up. Race number four, we're gonna go with number eight, Friar Esk, to beat seven Broker, nine Keeper Son, and two Pushing Shapes.